Morning everyone! Welcome to another week in remote learning. Um, you are all doing such a super job. Um, I can't quite believe we're on week five um, and we're still doing just amazing things even though we're at home. So keep it up, keep going, but we would usually be doing a wellbeing week in school. We'd have hopefully already had one by now but COVID has made this year a little bit more complicated than we hoped, but it is still a really ideal time to be thinking about mental health. This week, across the UK, schools are celebrating Children's Mental Health Week, and wellbeing weeks are something we hope to incorporate within school several times a year to remind us that it's really important to look after our minds as well as our bodies. Um, so it seemed like the perfect time to have our first wellbeing week at Rutherford House celebrating Children's Mental Health Week. Uh, so I'm just going to run you through a little bit about what we will be trying to incorporate this week in what will be a scaled down, a mini version of a wellbeing week um, across our online learning. So this year's theme for Children's Mental Health Week is express yourself. So we're going to be talking a little bit more about what that means and what we'll be doing in school uh, this week. So what is mental health? Mental health is just like our physical health. Sometimes we feel good, sometimes we don't feel so good. Our mental health affects how we think, how we feel, how we behave. It is just important as looking after our physical health. Let me just move my face out of the way there. So some of the things we might feel when our mental health is good, we'll be confident about meeting new people, going to new places, we'll generally feel quite happy and we'll feel good about ourselves, feeling quite confident in ourselves and what we can do. Of course, as lovely as this is, we don't always feel this way and it's fine. No normal person will always feel this way. No one will always be in this green area. There will always be times sometimes just little moments, maybe sometimes whole days, where we just don't quite feel ourselves. If our mental health is not at its best, then it might be that we often feel a little bit sad, or we're in a bit of a bad mood, a bit grumpy, that we might worry a lot about something, or we don't want to see people. Instead of wanting to see our friends, we retract a little bit, and we want to just have some of our own time to ourselves, which again, isn't a bad thing. Sometimes we need that. And our sleeping and eating patterns might change. If you're not sleeping well, you're more likely to be grumpy or sad about something. So definitely really important to make sure we're eating well, so we're looking after our physical self, and we're sleeping well, and that will also help our mental health. As I said, we don't have to feel like these all of the time, but we do need to know that if we're feeling more in this red zone, where to ask for help. COVID has of course had a massive effect on our mental health and our well-being because there's so much going on at the moment and so much for us to worry about. So you might be worried about friends and family and the spread of COVID-19 to people that you know. You might be worried about not being able to attend school. As much as sometimes we might feel a bit grumpy in school, I know I'm missing being in school and being with you guys so much. So that sometimes makes me feel a little bit sad or a little bit worried. Of course, we miss seeing our friends and family. Even if we're seeing them, quite often it is virtually like this through a screen and it's not quite the same, is it? And we're missing doing fun things. We're not really allowed play dates. Lots of our sports clubs and things have been cancelled. It's a really tricky and all of these things usually help us to stay nice and happy, but we've not got them at the moment. So we need to really, really focus on what we can do to keep those lovely, happy vibes going. I'm just gonna have to keep moving my face <laughs> in this goodness. So Wednesday, 
this week we are having an inside out day now now and beyond are a brand new organization this year and they have set about doing a mental health festival so there are loads of amazing things on there some of which that we will be using um, and there's also a great um, webinar for parents as well that I put the link in the letter if you're interested in signing up to that for Wednesday so on Wednesday we would like you to if you're in key worker school come to school um, dressed inside out or if you're at home tuning in to your zoom classes we would like you to wear an item of your uniform um, inside out or maybe even the whole in uniform inside out it is to make us stop and think a little bit because actually all of the stuff we're talking about our mental health isn't something we often see sometimes we can see the effects of it so we might see that someone is sad from the outside, but quite often, actually, when we're feeling at our lowest, we do our best to hide it from other people. And so wearing our clothes inside out is to remind us about you can't always see what's inside. You can't always see how someone's feeling. So you need to be kind to them all of the time to really make sure that we're supporting each other through this really tricky time. So we can wear an item of clothing inside out. We can be kind. You will never know how someone is feeling in the inside. And most importantly, don't be afraid to talk to someone, okay? Don't just assume that someone has realized that you are feeling worried or you are feeling sad, okay? Find someone you're comfortable to talk to and let them know. Just by letting someone know, it can really help how we're feeling. being kind and thinking of others. So I've got three children here. Now actually, visibly, they do look like something is troubling them. So it might be that if we saw these children, we might want to go up to them and say, are you okay? I don't want to talk about anything. But really thinking, sometimes it's not as obvious as it is. So for instance, we've got this little boy here who's thinking and really worrying about the fact that he had a fight with his brother in the morning and that's made him feel a bit sad someone else a little bit sad because they weren't invited to a birthday party although I can't really have birthday parties at the moment but maybe it was a zoom one someone here upset because they got told off by their teacher oh let's flip back to that they got told off by their teacher that's okay to feel sad about that sometimes it happens someone might get cross with you but you need to think right how can I change things? What can I do to reflect? How can we make this different? Rather than just feeling sad about it. I know if I have ever got cross with anyone, I would be really, really upset if I found out that they'd gone home still feeling really, really sad that day because of it. Kindness. So this is our main focus all the time really, but on Wednesday, the reason why we are doing our inside out day, we are focusing on kindness. When people are kind, and we will notice people being kind, you can think about how people feel, include them in your groups, look for ways to help people and make things better. Just the other day, my friend sent me a card in the post and it was so lovely to know that she was thinking of me. Little things like that, Picking up the phone, ringing someone can really just make them feel really loved and make them feel a little bit happier. When one person does something kind, it reminds the next person to be kind. It is almost like a chain reaction. If you smile at someone when you pass them, they're most likely to smile back or they'll think, oh, oh that person looked really happy. And then they'll have a smile on their face. It's almost in it's infectious. But a good kind, not like coronavirus. We want to pass our smiles, not our germs. So thinking about how you can bounce that kindness from one person to the other. What can you do this week to spread kindness that will hopefully encourage that person to then spread kindness to the next person and the next person and the next person and the next person. So we have, of course, got Friday. Friday is our dress to express yourself day. Now, you might be thinking, what does express yourself mean? So expressing yourself is about finding creative ways to share your ideas, your thoughts, your feelings, 
and that might be through poetry, through taking photographs, so we had the lovely photography competition, through making music, through art, through dance, there are so many different ways we can express ourselves. So here is a very short video. Um, with some people expressing themselves, I want you to have a little watch and see if you can spot the different ways people are expressing themselves. So hopefully there you would have saw that there were so many different ways that those people were expressing themselves. Okay, why does expressing ourselves matter? Finding creative and enjoyable ways to share our thoughts and feelings and ideas help us to feel good. They help our mental health, especially when we're facing really tricky, difficult times. I know in lockdown one, it was really tricky. I didn't like being stuck inside. Not being in school was really difficult. And so I took to doing some art. I hadn't done art for ages, but it really relaxed me and it really helped. I then took to painting stones with little kind phrases on and I hid them around the common. And knowing that I was spreading some kindness and spreading some positivity, whilst also having a nice relaxing time, calm, doing some artwork, really helped me. Now that wouldn't help everyone because everyone is different. So it's important to know that in these wellbeing weeks, when we're teaching you new strategies and techniques that you can use to help your mental health, it's okay. If you have a go at something and you think, not for me, this doesn't help me so much because there might be something else we teach another time that you go, yes, I would much rather be doing that than some art. Art just isn't calming for me. So it's about finding what works for you. I would also say with wellbeing things is not just trying it once, trying it a few times because actually the first time you might say no, no, not for me. And then the third, fourth, fifth time you then really get into it and you understand actually how it can be really positive for you. How does being creative and expressing yourself make you feel? I know when I do it, it makes me feel confident in myself, gives me a little bit of a little bit of a smile, just really cheering me up. Maybe this week when you're expressing yourself, you can see how you feel and how it is positive for you. So there are lots of different ways we can find creativity. Um, one, where, one book and story that I really love is a book called The Beautiful Oops. I will attach a link um, to this story being told on a YouTube video because it is really lovely. It's a very short book, mainly pictures and not many words, but it's got a lovely message about how actually we need to make mistakes, we need to show our values, we need to be resilient, we need to carry on and we need to see what we can make of that situation when we make a mistake. And it's not something to be sad about, it's something to explore. Okay, so remember, you don't have to be a great artist, a wonderful dancer, you don't have to be skilled at doing any of these things. It is doing something that allows you to express yourself, to show the things that you love or that you appreciate. So don't worry if you're not an excellent actor or singer. If you like singing, have a little sing song. If that makes you feel good, do it. Doesn't matter if you're the best, just matters that it's making you feel good. So let's encourage each other this week to find different creative ways to express ourselves. And just remember, 
always be kind, okay? Even if someone is doing something that you don't like or they're saying something you don't like, think, why are they doing that, okay? Don't retaliate back. Don't say horrible things back to them, okay? Ask them if they're okay. It might be, actually, they're in a bit of a mood because they've just had lots going on and they're a bit sad. Okay, really thinking about the others around us. Remember, you're not alone. We might not be able to see each other as much, but everyone at school is still here for you. Okay, if you are feeling sad and you want to tell your teacher, tell them. Okay, we're still here to support you, even if it is through a laptop screen. Okay, we still miss you and we still want to be there for you whenever we can. Okay, ask for help and talk about your feelings. You're doing so well so far, but it is okay to not be okay. Tell someone that you're not okay. Tell someone that you're feeling really sad or worried and anxious about things. Okay, mental health issues affect everyone. Everyone. So always be kind and always think of others. As I said, if you're worried about anything, speak to a teacher or an adult you trust. We'll always be there for you, okay? We miss you so much, and I hope that you have a wonderful week of remote learning, and you have fun with the events and the activities that we're gonna do for Wellbeing Week. And I really look forward once this week is finished to really hear what you enjoyed, what you'd like differently next time. So every time we do a wellbeing week, we can improve it and make it better and better and better and better and better. Um, so yeah, have fun this week. I am looking forward to seeing some of the activities you complete on Wednesday for Inside Out Day. And I'm looking forward to seeing how you will dress to express on Friday. Um, so yeah, on Friday, dressing in absolutely anything that expresses yourself and your personality. It could be your favourite colour. It could be if you love football, maybe you'll wear your football kit. Maybe if you love art, you will be wearing your art apron. Maybe if I definitely love a bit of glitter, so I think I'm definitely going to have to try and make myself as glittery as possible uh, on Friday and maybe wear some of my favourite colours. So yeah, it can literally be anything. Um, and then yeah, we're going to be asking you why you have chosen um, to wear whatever you have chosen to wear to express yourself. So I really look forward to seeing that and I hope you have a super week. Bye everyone.